In most major sports, you could smell the tension and the intensity at the start line. But snowboarding is not like most sports. These free-spirited, freestyle athletes act like they're at a party with good friends. And they're living by the Olympic creed that says that the important thing is not to win, but to take part. Doran Church found out who these friends were from one of the ringleaders, Danny Davis. Scotty Lego, Jack Matrani, Luke Matrani, Kevin Pierce, Keir Dillon, uh, Mason Aguirre, and myself. Danny Davis. How you doing? I got this great sticker that says yep. there's no I in friends. That's Tell right. me about it. Um, it's just kind of like, you know, just just about like our friends. You know, you want to keep your friends uh, motivated and it's not about you, you know. It's about like the people who are making you happy and keeping you doing what you're doing. So just uh, supporting the boys. So maybe, uh, maybe when Scotty Lego did something special in the quarter pipe. He was interviewed by his friend, Keir Dillon, on national TV. And when Lego won the event, he was joined on the podium by his friend, Luke Matrani, who won $3,000 for the biggest amplitude of the evening. Kevin Pierce, another one of the cadre of friends, didn't have a great open this year. He fell on all three of his runs in the halfpipe finals. But when he finally slid to the bottom, Lego and Matrani were there to pick him up. Those athletes travel the world together, hanging out and supporting each other. Mason's not here. He's the only one who's not here. He's on like spring break with his girlfriend or something. <laughs> Aw, boo. Yeah, loser. <laughs> Olympian Mason Aguirre is a good bet to wind up on the podium of any competition he enters. It's always a good show when Aguirre and Davis go head to head like they did at the 2006 U.S. Open. The 10, the front nine, back nine all the way down, linking up his run. Front top 1080 to finish. Mason! Aguirre knew his first run was a killer and good enough for a podium finish. Wow. Hey, Mr. Big old front side 1080 to get things kicked off. If Davis felt any pressure on his third and final run, it didn't hurt his performance. He threw down four huge tricks to edge Aguirre for second place. This was following an Olympic year when Aguirre finished fourth and Davis was the alternate on U.S. team. The results were switched at the Open. Yeah, yeah, me and Danny, we like have been like neck and neck everywhere. At the press conference, everything was lovey-dovey between the two. Together because of, you know, close quarters. So, uh, yeah, but I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped that uh, you know he came out on top last night, and then he, and then he. Uh, we'll have fun next year. The whole crew will be, be killing it next. You going year. for the Olympics next year? Yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll go for it, and you know it's not like. Any special uh, preparation or? You know I'm. Just trying to get healthy again, yeah. Like definitely got like a training program now, and just have your Wheaties in the morning. Yeah, yeah, always, <laughs> always, yeah. Going into the Olympics next year, what do you think? Um, you know, it's definitely a goal for mine. You know, um, I'm gonna work probably uh, work on some pipe this summer. You know, see if I can get some new tricks or whatever, and and see what happens. You know, I think I have a pretty good shot. Definitely. What about mentally? Anything special? Nah, just yoga. listening to music and <laughs> playing music and, you know, that's about it. No no yoga or <laughs> meditation or anything like that. Oh, anything mentally you're trying to do to prepare for that? Um, you know, I'm, I am kind of a mental case, for sure. Oh my word! The biggest 1080 of You know, that's one of my main problems is kind of like my mental game, you know. I'll put it put together in, uh, in practice or whatever, you know, and, uh, and kind of just you know, choke, you know? Yeah, it's five. Oh. yeah uh, choke's pretty heavy wear, but I can definitely say that I've choked quite a few times. <laughs> Lego may have put the choke curse behind him when he finished third in the open slope style. Coupled with his quarter pipe win, it earned him a brand new Volvo XC60 to show for his friends in. It's Luke Matrani and it's very bright outside. And Matrani, performing like a champ in the sunlight, earned a podium finish and the best trick award with this double flip at the end of his run. These friends are all winners because they know what's really important. Just uh, gotta have lots of fun all the time, so just try to always do that.